Mina, Konbanwa, Jesus Freaking Gamer here. Not holding a Bible anywhere on my hands, but I want to talk about an issue that Job deals with in pretty much great detail. And it's in pretty much every single chapter. Every time Job speaks, it's in high detail. It's kind of the number one thing. When his friends are talking to him, it's still, they mention it in passing, and that is what suffering is in this life. I kind of touched on it in a previous video, and this could very, very easily be a 30-minute message. The long and the short of it is, a lot of the things that we think of as suffering, especially those of us who live in the first world, I mean, you're watching this on a computer, right? Or your, your phone, your phone essentially is a small computer. You've got internet, you've got a computer, that means you have lights, you have electricity. It's very likely you're watching this uh, you know, in your car or in your home. What we consider suffering, especially us, those of you who can hear this message, 99% of the time our, our suffering is nothing. Nothing. Like today, recorded a bunch of Dark Souls with Robbie, didn't get a lot of sleep last night, and my stomach was upset. And it hurt. Um, maybe a little bit of TMI, but don't really care. It's my channel. I can do as I please. And for those of you who want to get to know me, this is one part of me. Not every part of me is wonderful and glorious. I, I know most of it is. I'm, I'm very well aware of that. But um, not every single part is. Um, I suffer from a condition called irritable bowel syndrome. Sometimes um, going to the bathroom is a... Uh, it's a bit painful, and sometimes it's it's kind of hard to um, get things going in the first place. Again, not that you want to know this, but you're very welcome nonetheless. And so, and you know, and we all, most of us have, you know, some little physical condition, and it just, it sucks, it's not fun. And we all have bad days, people not treating us right, and things not quite going our way. And then there are countless irritances when, you know, programs don't load, YouTube doesn't load, our favorite website doesn't load. Certain video games you know, have you know dumb little glitches in them because Steam is misbehaving. The manufacturer overlooked a bug in their product, yeah, and the list goes on and on, right? But how many of those are actually problems? I guess mine could count as a problem uh, to some degree. Like I feel better now, you know, um, business was taken care of and I'm done. So I guess that was a legitimate problem, and I get I, I don't want to downplay anyone's suffering if it is suffering. But at the same time, you know what I went through today? It, it sucked, and I don't like it. But man, I look at Job and like, what in the world do I have to complain about? My stomach hurt a little bit today. I was like, oh my god. Oh man, this hurts. You, I'll get over it. I'll get through it. I didn't get a lot of sleep last night, and sometimes that upsets my stomach a lot more. Oh man, I'm tired and my stomach hurts. Ugh, what a rough day. Jeez. This kind of sucks. I'll get over it. I'll make it through. Make complain a little bit, may not be the happiest, but I'll make it through okay. I've got nothing on Job. Nothing. Nothing. When I lost my mom, that that day I pretty much lost my entire family but it was one person it wasn't like however how many how many sons and daughters did job have what three sons three daughters i didn't lose six people in one day i didn't lose the house the very same day that i lost her i didn't lose all my livelihood my job the day i lost her again that was the and that now that was genuine that was definitely genuine suffering. today i guess was genuine suffering and i didn't enjoy it and you know, losing my mother, that was definitely genuine suffering. I've never heard that bad in my life. It's still nothing compared to Job. Guys, we need to be a lot more thankful for what we do have. We need a lot more grace for the hard times we go through. Now, I didn't lose my faith or anything when my mom died. and I, I wasn't like a, a complete jerk to, uh, to Robbie, even though my stomach hurt. So, I mean, I guess you could say I weathered those storms okay. And there, I'm sure there's some merit there. I'm sure, sure there's some good stuff that goes along with that. I'm sure the Lord was pleased. But even the death of my mom and finding her dead body on the floor, I can't compare to what Job went through. I just can't. 
So when I say I've had a bad day, and when I start putting on the sourpuss, and I've done this many times, I need to take several steps back and say, hold up. What am I really griping about? Is this really worth it? Can I really consider this suffering? Is this worth moaning and groaning and getting a bad attitude about? Because nine times out of ten, it's just not. It's just not. What we have to complain about, those of us who have access to these devices and to these websites, we have very little to complain about. I've got food in the pantry. I've got running water. I've got distilled water on top of that because I don't like my particular county's water that much. I've got a job to work at. I've got a YouTube uh, business or career or hobby. It's a, a blend of all three words. I, I try to I try to take it serious and I try to do it seriously. So I try to make it a, a very responsible and very uh, respectable and very constant hobby at the very least. I don't really have anything to complain about. I really don't. Life is good, and yours probably is too if you consider what the alternative is. I'm nodding in the direction of where my Bible's on is on its bookshelf over there. We really need to think about what it is we're going through and what it is that actually matters before we put on this sour face and before we treat others like crap because something hasn't gone quite the way our perfect little world demands it. And that was it. No particular verse. That's just, it's pretty much the overarching theme of Job. And it's just, it's made me think like, daggone, I've got it so good. So, so good. I've got electricity and light over me. You know, I, I have a thermostat I can adjust the temperature to. I can make my home as warm or as cold as I want. All to suit my desires and my needs. The fact that we have anything to complain about is absolutely embarrassing. So, let's, let's tighten up, guys. Let's have better attitudes. Let's remember that God's not only in control when times are good, He's in control when times are bad. In fact, when times are bad, that's when His light can shine the brightest if we will let Him. And that's when we can depend on Him if we will, if we'll put our, if we'll look, stop looking at ourselves so much, we'll kind of bow our heads, look down a little bit, and, and just raise our arms up to heaven and say, God, I know you've got this. I know you do. And honestly, things aren't as bad as I'm making them out to be. So that's it. And that lasted a lot longer than I thought it could. I could extend this another 20 minutes. I won't do that. But yeah, that's been that's been bouncing around in my head. So I was like, let me let me go ahead and get this out. That's a I believe that's a very valuable message. Guys, thank you very much for watching. I love you, and God bless.